Good morning, church. I uh, hope you're having a blessed day. This is April the 5th, 2023. And it's a, it's a, we're sneaking up on Easter. This is, this is the Wednesday. This is what they call, um, quiet, quiet Wednesday and Passion Week. Um, as we get ready for Easter, don't forget we got a great revival with Terry LeMay coming up on the, um, on, on Monday or Sunday, we're going to run our, our Easter revival from Sunday to the Wednesday. I uh, hope you can join us. And we got man church on Thursday and, um, hope you can be a part of that. Uh, men and women are involved, invited to that. We're going to have a special, but, um, I want to look at Matthew today, Matthew 24 and uh, verse 13. He says, but he that endures till the end shall be saved. There is some serious enduring that, um, you know, we, we think we're, we think we're all that in a bag of chips and because we, we go through some things and, and the Lord is glorified, but it's, it's a lot of things that we're going to have to endure. And just to get a taste of it, it says, uh, go back to verse nine. Um, and we could all go also go back to verse four, but I'm just going to go back to verse nine because he, he says, um, then they will deliver you up, up to tribulation and kill you and you'll be hated by all the nations for my name's sake. Now that's a lot of hate. That's a lot of problems that you'll be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And, you know, we got a, we got a joke and I hope that, um, you can appreciate it. Um, if you look up in the Bible, the definition of all, it means all. And, you know, right now, everybody can find a, you know, with a, um, with a trans silliness going on and all this other stuff, um, what's, what's wrong was, was, you know, now right and what's right is now wrong. Um, we're seeing a flip flop of, of what was right and what was wrong. And wrong is being celebrated. But let me encourage you to stay the course. Stay the course. Sin is still sin. Whether 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 they call it that or not. Read Romans chapter 1. But it says, take heed that no one deceives you. And then he goes down to verse 9. He says, then I will deliver you up. Will deliver you up to tribulation. Then they will deliver you up in tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. You know, this, this this world's got to go a certain way. He says, um, and then many will be offended and betray one another. Boy, we see that, don't we? And will hate one another and make false prophets and rise up and deceive many because the lawlessness will abound. We, you know, you and me wouldn't get away with half the stuff, a quarter of the stuff that we see our government officials and all these other people um, just blatantly guilty of. And as we see our government and everything topple over, um, it just seems like lawlessness is just abounding. And that's what the Bible says, because lawlessness will abound, and the love of many will grow cold. And this is it. This is what I wanted to share with you this morning. He says, but he that endures till the end shall be saved. It's the enduring. You just stay doing what you're supposed to be doing. You, you just you just stay serving God, looking at what the Lord has called you to do. Uh, verse 14, he says, And the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all in the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Boy, we're just real close, aren't we? And verse, go back to verse 4. He says, take heed that no one deceives you. Church, let me encourage you today. Take heed that no one deceives you. Read your Bible. Pray and then read your Bible. Don't read your Bible without praying. And get in there and find out what the Word of God says about each and every one of us. Uh, it says the same thing. It says, um, endure till the end. Those that endure till the end shall be saved. I don't think we've seen anything yet. Uh, we've seen some rough times and all this other stuff, but the enduring, the enduring that you'll be delivered up um, 
to tribulations and killed and hated um, for my name's sake. Um, there will be many uh, offended and they will betray one another and hate one another. Um, this is this, all this stuff is, is is coming in, and the Lord Jesus Christ, the things that He endured during Passion Week, He knew all that stuff was coming. He knew all that stuff was coming coming into play, and I, and I preached on this Sunday night for the for the joy He endured the cross. I can't imagine, I can't imagine the cross, but for the joy. He endured the cross. Why? To redeem you and me back to the Father. You and I are redeemed to the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Spirit. And I encourage each and every one of us just to, just to stop just for a minute with all the junk going on in the world, with all the stuff happening, and, and realize God's in control. All these things. And he says... He says, all these things shall come to pass. There'll be, a, um, if you read on to 15 and 16, this is a wonderful study. Um, Matthew 24, the whole thing gives gives an idea of, of the things to come. And church, I pray that you do. I pray that you read your word and endure and chase after the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you. Hope you have a great day. Uh, tell someone about Jesus today. That's our purpose. That's our purpose. Tell someone about Jesus.